Good afternoon LC people. Well we've come back to working on the MT project again. Um, Roger's been uh, figuring out wires and routes and one thing or another. What he's actually done, he's actually fitted the COSO clock on there now. Uh, and he's made a lovely plate for that with our lovely sort of vinyl transfer. And he's done a cracking job with that. Very happy with that. He likes doing these bits. He's even done the one for down in there where the zeal is. Um, he's actually now got the fuel sensor. Now, on the MT tank that was on it, it had got um, a fuel pump and it also had um, the sender unit for uh, what's left in the tank, the fuel gauge. So he's actually got that all sorted as well. He's been a very busy boy. I know it doesn't look like it. Um, now, when was it? Saturday, we actually went to Stoke. Um, Roger mentioned in one of his forums about needing some GP pipes. And this guy pitched up and he said, I'm in Stoke if you want to borrow them. And we went and we put them on the bike. I didn't video about it. Uh, basically, what had happened when we put the pipes on, the headers come out more than that and they touched the wheel. And the guy was prepared to sell them to us if we wanted them. And it was a very good price and they were nice pipes. The problem was, once we'd cut into them, they belonged to us and we got to buy them. And then if we find it goes on the dyno and the pipes didn't work, we've wasted that money and really ruined a good set of pipes. So we took them back to them. Well, Roger did. Um, so that was that. Now today, Roger got bored with the wiring and he decided he'd slave this radiator in. It's off a KTM. Now what he tells me is, now this fits very many different engine sizes on the KTM because they're, a, they're an off-road bike. So what we've actually done is we've filled him all up and made sure the head didn't leak. He's been ran up to temperature and it does a very, very good job. The temperature sender works treat and nothing leaks. Um, so going forward, we're, we're going to search for radiators that's like half the length and have one either side so it looks balanced in appearance uh, the plumbing works it's not pretty we're not plumbers but we're going to have to get uh, pretty quick at that now we can't destroy these pipes that's on this because these are for the f1 um so we need to make something so we can actually ride the bike and see what it rides like now roger's got an old pipe over here and he had this on his uh on another hybrid now he's manufactured that down pipe and it's about, about the right dimensions uh, because we don't have a pair we're going to mock up a two into one onto this yeah it'll restrict the bike we know all that um, and that's fine it'll get it into a using situation um, for the purpose of testing all the rest of the bits out on the bike so until we get our time slot at uh, Mr. Wattoms, where we can have the pipes fitted and made to measure. That could be a while, because like the rest of you, we don't have special preferential treatment with Dave. Um, and he's very busy, so it could be a few months. And we can't sort of like have the project stop waiting for a pipe. So we're going to Phil's on Sunday, and I'll do another video. And Phil's our sort of cut and shut man. So he's going to make that pipe into a two into one I've just showed you. And that's what we're going to do. So the next video will be Sunday now. And it will show you what more is happening. But for the purposes of the video, we'll start the bike up again. And uh, you can hear it actually running. Now it's all sort of fluided up. It's got life support over there. And like I say, it's got coolant in it. And it's now full of engine oil. So for the purposes of the videos, Roger's going to like take your side stand out. Right aim my mate. Take the handbrake. He's got to take the handbrake off. Literally the hand brake. Servo. Fuel on, yeah? Fuel's on, yes. Cool. Oh, we've got the tie bars. Yeah, the tie bars are gone in under there. You can see what they're lurking in there. We'd forgot about them before. All we've done is re-ring this engine. Uh, the engine itself was absolutely fantastic. Obviously it's been cleaned, fettled, painted, new rings in it. It's a great engine, it sounds lovely. So it's got 
got all the bits going on there. We've got temperatures rising slowly. We've got the rev counter going on. We're going to do the uh, trick, the trick we maximum. Now. So it's maximum temperature, maximum, maximum temperature, rev. maximum rev. You said time, but we don't set that because we keep switching it on. Voltage at the battery. Shows that the uh, generator's working. What else have we got? That's back to normal temperature. Back to normal again. And then we've got all the warning lights that you've seen before. Great bit of kit that Coso is. For the money that you pay for, and they're actually very good. And Roger's managed to get all the things. Are we done with the running, Roger? I think so. Right then. Now, the thing about this Coso that uh, I didn't appreciate, and Roger said, there's actually a, a gear um, indicator. I'll tell you what gear it's in. Now, he said it's got a learning mode. And how it works it out, all we can think is it must be off. Uh, the front speedo sensor, obviously the magnet goes on the disc and that sensor picks it up. So we're not sure about that. When we get to the riding of the bike, that'll be the last thing that needs to be working on it. And the only other thing that will never work on it is an engine management light, which you're not going to have on this bike. Uh, what else did we notice? Because we've found it about, we had initially this bolted down at the side there. And we had an earth on his earth to the frame. And earlier we had it in the back here rattling about. And it wouldn't charge the bike. Uh, but originally they have an earth on the F2, F1 or whatever that one comes off. RDR, blah de blah. Uh, but as soon as you earth back on the frame, boom, we have voltage again that rises when we rev the bike. So that's it for now, folks. Um, I'll tell you a bit more Sunday because we're doing some uh, handy pipe work with Phil. Righto folks, thanks for watching. Dilly dilly. Need a beer. <laughs> Me too.